Hi everybody, it's Christina from Card Making Magic. When you're making cards, do you like to add lots of foam in between the layers to create dimension? Or do you like to add um, sentiments with dimension to your cards to make them stand out? Now I use a lot of foam pads or a lot of foam tape. But I'm going to show you how I can create my own pads very easily with one of these or with one of these. So these are the Xyron Creative Stations. This is the big one but you can do it just as well with the small one and this is just the little sticker maker. This is very cheap to buy and will make you lots of pads. So let me show you what I do. So let's use the smaller one first. Now for this you're going to need to buy some craft foam and this is really really cheap and you're going to need to cut some strips wide enough to fit through your machine. So that's about an inch and a quarter. So the first thing you need to do is pop your foam into your machine and start to pull it through. So once you've pulled that through your machine I'm going to really press the adhesive back down onto the foam and once I've done that I can remove the clear part from the front. Now I need to put this side back into the machine and pull it through again. And we're going to repeat the process with the, the bone folder. So that we can really press the adhesive down and then we can remove this piece. And now we've got double sided adhesive on both sides of, of the foam. So now you can add that to your card, you can cut it into smaller pads, you can use that anywhere you want. So now let's go on to the bigger machine. Here I have an A4 piece of foam and I'm going to pop this into the machine. Now this has a turn handle so I'm going to turn this through and bring it to the other side of the machine. Now once I get to the other side there is a little cutter that will cut off that paper and we need to really press that adhesive down onto that sheet. And once we've done that, we can take off the clear side. And we're going to run it through the machine again. This time with the foam facing down. And we're just going to pop that in the machine and take it through. So once we've done that, we can cut it off again with the blade. Pop it out of the way. And do the same thing with the bone folder. And again, once you've done that, you can take off the clear side. And now you have a really large sheet that you can cut into pieces to add to your card. So there we've got lots of foam tape that we need to use. So once you have your um, foam pad and it's all sticky, you can take a piece of card that's the size of the words that you want and I'm just going to cut the foam to fit the card. So now if I peel one side off this, this back in, I can add my card. And now I can run that through my die cutting machine and that will now give me a word that still has the backing on one side ready to add to my card. Now once you've cut down your piece to fit underneath your layers you can then add them together and add your words to the top. Don't throw this away even though it's got the words cut out of it because you can still use that as an underlayer and no one will know that there are words missing. And that way you're not wasting any part of your foam or your adhesive. A 
really pretty card created with dimension in between the layers and the words are popped up with foam tape as well. Cover these with glossy accents to make them stand out even more. And using the Creative Station or the little Xyron sticker maker, in fact any Xyron machine that you have, you can produce your own foam pads or your own foam sheets to use on your cards whenever you like. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have, please join me on the next one and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.